Welcome back to Only Friends, our oh my, podcast. What? I have been with you for like six hours already and haven't even noticed your nails. I was with you yesterday too, and you <gasps> still didn't notice my nails. I was too focused on your hair. <laughs> <laughs> Why? It, no, well, no, because you walked in and it looked no, like you had just come you. from an event. Oh, 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 oh. It really... I was talking about not you. I'm saying, why did it smell like oh, yeah. a grandma? Yeah. No, it was again. more like you walked in and like stole, like you were ready for the Grammys. <laughs> what if I came over with like a gown? I would have absolutely loved that. <laughs> I would have been like, oh, that's what we're doing. Let me put on my wedding dress. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but just came in sweats. Yeah. No, like Carly, like her hair looked like she'd just gotten like a fresh blowout oh my with God, a curl. Thank you. I did. It's so funny. I literally let it like air dry. And then I was like, oh, I got this new curling iron. I just want to try yeah. it. And it. Like, I don't know. It didn't yeah. last. I was like, oh, it'll last me like three days. Usually curl. I do that. And then I like it for three days. And I woke up and it was like, shit. So oh, no, I just put it back. Yeah. yeah. We were like, okay, fancy queen. I know. And I then like, like mm. I, you know, I did get like a few whiffs. <laughs> I don't know why. I seriously was using the good stuff. I wonder if it's. Maybe because the heat activated my hair oh. dye. I don't know. I'm really <laughs> trying to figure it out. I'm going to get my hair done maybe this week or next. <gasps> and I'll ask her. Oh, yeah. Be like, what's the tea? But I feel like she won't know. I know. Like, it's always is, like, it could be this, it could be that. And that's yeah. basically what we've narrowed it down to. Yeah. But I, I do think it was, you smelled the shampoo. It smelled exactly like my hair. So mm -hmm. it has to be that. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm really going through it with this Maybe smell. because you used it so much, it was it's still ingrained in your hair. <laughs> hope not. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And so then when you like wash it, it's it activates. expelling it. Yeah. I like, love the word activate when I talk about this. I don't know why. I always say it activates activation. the scent. <laughs> like, I just feel like it's the most perfect word. <laughs> Science science okay i got my yeah i got my nails yeah, they look done really pretty thank you but then i was like why did i choose like a christmas color like to me this is a very like christmasy no. green like Disagree. dark green no that's like an olive green that's like okay. a good like i wouldn't say it's like a spring color but it's a good like neutral cool i love that color thanks she are celebrating st patrick's day <laughs> late <laughs> monthly everything's late no. i dye my hair dark when it becomes summer that's a good color mine are just thanks. hideous why but you think i'm gonna do hideous? something like I just feel like the white shows all the imperfections. Oh, I guess that's so true. I, see, like, I like a white nail though. Bumps and like the I'm bumps like, in oh, the night. She actually did a, a terrible job. <laughs> oh, interesting. Because I feel like when it's the dark, it's like when you know people wear black to make themselves look thinner. Yeah, it's like that, but for your nails. It's yeah, like, and the like, white shows it all, but the, yeah. the Lincoln Park after dark is like it hides, hides everything. everything. It cinches the fingertips. Yeah, because I'm like, oh, girly. Yeah, wearing white too, like everything shows. And if you get like a smudge or something that doesn't come off, mm. I love white fingernails though. So I'm big on the white. I did it. I'm How doing do like my first um, nail art. Oh, on cool. Sunday. Oh, for Coachella. Yeah, I'll show you guys when we film on Monday. But oh, okay. I'm like nervous because I'm the kind of person that's like, I could never ask. I know it's like, like I'm I feel nervous. bad. Yeah. Yeah. Even though like so many people are like talented and like would probably prefer to do something fun. Are you going somewhere like special or the place we always go? No, I'm just going wherever Caro goes. Okay. She was oh, like, she gets them get done a lot. Done? Yeah, all the time. So I think. But she has like good. a lady. Like she uh -huh. has the same person that she goes to all of the time who like knows her. It's like not a crazy request. Like I'm going to go in there and be like, um. I know. I hate going to new nail like places. <laughs> I'm so scared. Yeah. I went to, I always go to new nail places. I don't know why, but I found one right mm. by me that has a parking lot. So I was like, Ooh, oh, nice. let's try it. And I walked in and. The lady, the lady at the front desk was like, oh, you did the Manny and the Petty, right? Or you want the Manny and Petty with gel nails. And the lady behind me literally sighed. <gasps> and then it was a girl who was doing, but then she ended up being really nice. So I was like, I don't know if she was sighing at me or. <laughs> Same girl. She was just like on the phone because she had AirPods in the whole time. So I'm like, is she on the oh. phone with somebody? But I was like, I would rather you not do my nails if you're going to sigh. Like I automatically feel like I'm a burden a to you, guy, yeah. even though it's your job and I'm paying you and tipping. Oh my God. I hate, I hate that. I, I hate feeling that way. I also got a pedicure yesterday, but then I immediately went to like a, <laughs> a store to try on oh, like cowboy boots. So it smudged the yeah, whole thing. All of them? Um, I think it's just like the, the thumbs. Oh no, the thumbs. <laughs> the, the thumb toe. <laughs> I know exactly. Yeah. Oh God. But while I was there so trying on boots, uh, Orville Peck walked in. And oh like, yeah. Him and his get posse i should say not a gang <laughs> gang Orville peck is it a gang <laughs> um i don't know anything about this man i just like I know either. him because of pop culture and, like i know like the hits and you know i think he's like such a cool act yeah um but i'm just like not a huge fan and i had never seen him he wears like this thing on his face that's like fringe yeah um so he's like hidden yeah i don't so has know anyone if seen his, his face did he was he wearing it 
no 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 that's why i was like oh i don't know like that would be the only way i would recognize him is if he came in wearing like a fringe mask that he wears but i don't know if it's like a sia moment where no one knew Mm -hmm. what sia looked like i don't know if that's the same for him because you can still see like his mouth a little and his eyes how do you know it was him because the guy told me oh okay. he was spilling the tea i was like dang There's, you really recognize him no i, I saw marshmallow never known <laughs> <laughs> yeah um he was so sweet he was like this older man i legitimately was like i have to buy a pair of like 800 hundred dollar cowboy boots because i'm gonna feel too bad if oh. i just walk out of here with nothing this iguana or is it a no, no no this is oh, like i was like oh is, yeah no this is like a legit like like you went to texas <laughs> yeah no literally <laughs> nice. they like they do like Post Malone, Orville Peck. They oh. give um, a lot of clothes to like uh, Yellowstone, like sh- Western shows oh, and stuff okay. like oh, that. Cool. So they're like a, Where was they're this? a world renowned Van Nuys. Oh, right. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, but Universal backlot. Yeah. So I'm sitting there. I was, I just went in to look for a very specific pair of like red Western boots. I was Cute. like, I need red. They had literally didn't have a single pair in my size and they have like uh. hundreds of Uh, boots of course and so then he was like but look at these and then look at these Ooh, and then these ones he literally made me try on like 10 pairs of boots and i was like i could sit here all day and do this because i just like feel so bad because he would be like these ones are like ostrich and these ones are crocodile and you know like the history he was just telling me everything he just knows everything it was the sweetest thing but and so i was like oh my god these are so expensive though like i absolutely can they're eight hundred dollars they that ranged yeah i would say like the cheapest were like 400 damn is this are you at prada like what's happening yeah no girly cowboy boots are <laughs> like know. a hot if it's like commodity. real yeah not fur but skin i guess yeah yeah no damn. i was like oh, i just do you have like 40 dollar pair of red boots yeah like something you see at target <laughs> yeah no literally that's like all i needed yeah um but so i'm sitting there i'm trying stuff on and then in walks orville and like his gang Posse. His posse. <laughs> posse gang. Or a gang. Like, posse who knows? gang. Yeah, <laughs> literally. <laughs> and the guy was like so excited. He was like, oh my God, like, how are you? What? Paris. I wonder if, yeah, you can definitely hear it in this. Paris. Sorry, the dog has probably seen somebody walk She's by. She's a stan of Orvel. Yeah. I don't even know how to say his name. Orville? Orville. Orville. I don't know. I've only seen it like Isn't written Isn't that out. like a popcorn? yeah i think it is maybe it's in the family maybe he really loves popcorn yeah maybe that's how he got his name and he, like he's a, related to josh who josh peck oh yeah yeah, yeah. or peck um, or bill i don't know i've only seen it written out yeah i don't know if i've ever like actually heard his name someone was dropping off a gift at the door oh um and he was so excited the he, old like, man yeah he came oh, in it was interesting because when we were there before um the lady who was working was like oh yeah we make those for like orville and like post and like blah 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 and i was like oh that's so cool and then he walked in yeah and then <laughs> like, i guess see? i told him to come in so you could see yeah and he was like walking around and he was like putting stuff on and the guy was like oh you look so nice but like still helping me Aww. and then he kept he was like this is the nicest man like you'll ever meet Aww. like blah 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 just like so excited and then you know like he would put on like a jacket and be like this is so cool and he's like see that's why you have to come in and like stop sending your people <laughs> oh i love him i know it was really sweet and um then he was like do you know who that is like whispering to me while he's wearing a mask and oh. like and he's like i'm sitting down and he's like do you know who that is i was like i have no idea <laughs> and he had he had said like oh i am getting outfits for stagecoach oh. so i was like okay he's obviously someone yeah and I was like, I know it's not Post Malone. Blake Shelton. <laughs> I would know Blake Shelton. <laughs> that was the other thing is like, I have like a pretty good like yeah. country knowledge. Yeah. Um, but it must be because I've never seen his face. Yeah. I mean, that makes sense. It tracks. Yeah. And could have been um, anyone. He could have just said like, it was him. It's Orville. <laughs> and I was like, oh, cool. No. But then he was so happy. And then he like wound up helping him so I could like skedaddle. Yeah. Oh, it's kind of a blessing in disguise. Yeah. Like I got to get out of oh, here. No, but then I was like, oh my God, like I feel so bad. Like I'm literally taking up this man's time. You're just and shopping. He's, it's fine. But I wasn't, I didn't even want to. I was like, I don't need any of this stuff. <laughs> you got trapped. <laughs> yeah. Or is it like you walked in, you're like, oh, this isn't what I expected. But then he was already helping you. Yeah, I was just like looking and then he was like, try these ones on. Like, so, you know, just like a really good salesman. Yeah. Like, had I not already spent like so much money on stuff for Coachella, yeah. like I probably would have just been like, he deserves this. Yeah. I'm just going to do it. Yeah. he. Oh. You could tell he's like so proud of like the heritage of cowboys. Yeah. You know, it's like he loves He the like stories. really knew everything. Yeah. That's In so like cool. a very like proud way. Oh. And that's why I was like... 
I guess I'll sorry. Just buy these. No, it happens all the time. <laughs> I I'm know. sure. But then I was like, oh, they probably just think I'm like some fucking just white girl. Like I want cowboy boots. Yeah, yeah. It's okay. Because he's like, do you know anything about cowboy boots? And I was like, nope. <laughs> <laughs> just style. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to Coachella, lol. Yeah. And, and then, then he's, he's like, so into it. Literally. No, I, I was like, yeah, I'm going to stagecoach too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're like, my husband's performing at Coachella and stagecoach. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> God. Funny. I'm actually married to him or Val. <laughs> yeah. You say that at the beginning, but then he walks in and it's yeah. awkward because you're not actually. <laughs> and, uh, I think he's gay. I'm pretty sure. I think he is too. <laughs> he's like, he's a gay man. <laughs> yeah. It's funny because I found him because Noah Cyrus was po- posted like a birthday oh. carousel of him on Instagram. And I was like, oh, is this like her new boyfriend Did or something? Did he have his, the fringe on? Yeah. It was just that. And I was like, this okay, is Okay. So maybe his identity is hidden. I think it is. I've only seen him with the mask. Thing. I've seen him in the flesh. I have Crazy. seen him. I could point him. I could honestly point him out if they put him in a lineup. I think you could expose him. Yeah, to the public. You, Exposing. Could you do, you do a pack. drawing of him, of his I, face? I think so. He expose. had like the most beautiful. Hit, all of the men he was with were just like perfect baby faced angels. Oh God! And they were just like. I wonder how old he is. I don't know. I would say Younger. like. I I would. He's very tall. Also. Oh. They were all just like country boys. Yeah. But like country, that's why the friend with Noah country Billy Ray. Boys, not like <laughs> dirty country boys, like just gorgeous. Yeah. Oh God. You ever seen Brittany Broski's um obsession? She's like, why can't I find a liberal cowboy? She's like, all I want is a liberal <laughs> yeah, yeah, cowboy. Yeah. That was such a funny trend on TikTok too. Like Oh, the when, Republican who yeah, looks yeah, like yeah. or a liberal who looks like a Republican or yeah. something. So very true yeah. yeah he always has shit on his face oh he's 34 okay i was gonna oh, guess okay i was like he could be like 25 or 35 <laughs> i always like have to know people's ages i don't know why i think it just gives good context of like wait he's canadian he's never shown his face publicly oh my oh god, my god. Oh, oh my god you literally saw his face I feel so special. Wait, I feel like that's such an interesting career because you can literally go anywhere. No yeah. matter how big you get, no one's going to know unless yeah, it gets and then out. Yeah, this man just outed him to me. Yeah, that's kind of fucked up. <laughs> he probably doesn't want anybody to know. Wait, that is so fucked. I'm literally blessed. Yeah, I mean, I could something see him now in public and be like, hey, Orville. Oh, he's like, how did you know? <laughs> yeah. You out the man, the nice man. Oh my, no, I would never. He was truly an angel. Wait, that is so crazy. I was going to say, I've only seen his little mask thing. Can I see it again? Yeah. I haven't seen it in a long time. So it's hard to like remember because I don't remember literally anything. That is, so, look at his eyes. Just stunning. Oh yeah. I don't know. I feel like somebody could recognize him through that. Because you can like, see his eyes and cool. mouth. I know. Such I cool know, concept. but I feel like that's, he just looks like any white guy. That's true. You can't see his nose. Also, he didn't talk the way he's like, he sings like, well, yeah. like really like deep. Uh-huh. And he was just talking like, didn't sound like that at all. Oh, weird. I don't know. Like maybe it was, wasn't him. <laughs> I feel like if you were like an obsessive person, you'd yeah, definitely be able to I know to that's tell. what I'm saying. Like, but I feel still, like I can make out his face. Any white guy. That too. Oh my God. Like, I mean, I couldn't cool. personally. Yeah. That's like just your style too. You should wear that to Coachella. <laughs> that mask. Oh my God. He's so. Ooh, this one shows like a little bit more of his face. I also just love how he has like these different fringe looks. Yeah. Should I wear Bondage my vibes. Coachella hat in honor of Orville? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the whole podcast. We'll do next podcast. Oh, he's showing his teeth in this one. I mean, I feel like I could. Well, I couldn't because I can't remember who anyone looks like, but I feel like it's kind of obvious. But I think that's on purpose. I feel like he's like, I'll kind of hide my face. Like you and, yeah, but like I, f- I, I wouldn't. I, yeah, I just feel like people would still like not know. That's true. Like I if he's at Trader like, Joe's, no one would be like, is like, that him? Maybe. Unless he blew, if he became like Hannah Montana, <laughs> like that big, <laughs> I think that people would be able to tell. Yeah, I wonder, cause Sia did like a reveal. Did she do a reveal? I don't know if she did a reveal, but everyone just was like, this is Sia. Oh, okay. But mm, I don't know. I, I was so confused by it because I always thought that she never wanted to show her face. But then I feel like there were like photos circulating of just her face, like paparazzi style. Yeah. And so I think people just saw it. I don't know if she like and cares like new. anymore. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Again, if I saw C in a grocery store, I'd have no idea. No. If I saw anyone in a grocery store, I'd have no idea. No. Like, no idea. Your <laughs> Orville just does the opposite. He does it on the bottom half of his face. Yeah. And Sia did it on the top. Yeah. Interesting. They're the same person. <laughs> it is it's Hannah Montana. Person. Yeah. Orville Peck and Sia are... Miley Cyrus and Hannah Montana. <laughs> and she's friends with Noah. It makes sense. <gasps> Done. Conspiracy theory. 
Oh my God, we did it. <laughs> I keep getting texts from Postmates, like, leave me alone. We got No, it's, they're like so clinging now. <laughs> like you'll order something and for the next two hours, it's like, how was it? No, lit- look, Are I you still eating? Four notifications. Yeah, I know. In the past like minute. Did you finish your sandwich yet? Yeah. <laughs> did you like the tomatoes or did you take them off? Truly, like what a weird thing. I know, I think it's something that you can't really get rid of unless you say like, hide these notifications Maybe. or you like swipe it away. I'm married. Yeah, like you're busy. I really can't believe that. I just know him. That's pretty crazy. I wonder how many people I've seen him. Not like friends, but like public or people who are fans. Do you think when he goes to like parties, he wears that? Right. I don't know. I have no idea. Okay. So Orville gang rise up in the comment section and let us know. Yeah. I feel like there's a whole community of people that probably know all <laughs> probably of probably like you're saying his name wrong. No, like probably. <laughs> Orville? Like if I just, when it I see it. It's O-R-V-I-L-L-E. Okay. To me, that's Orville. Yeah, me too. Orville. Orville Peck. Yeah. I feel like it's just like the the twang in your voice. If you say it like Orville, mm. Orville, Orville, Orville. If we're saying it wrong, I'm embarrassed because we're so confident. I think it's Orville. Orville, Orville popcorn. I wonder if that's his real name. Um, I doubt it. You don't think? No. You're right. Because if we knew his real name, then we could find out yeah. his identity. Yeah. But and you don't need to do because you already know his identity. Honestly, like... I'm just better than everyone. <laughs> yeah, I mean, technically. I know what he looks like. That's crazy. We're close personal friends. He like said he was sorry to me also. <gasps> oh my God. We also, we just we were sorry to each other because I was looking at myself in a pair of cowboy boots in the mirror and it's like a little tiny space and he was walking through and I was like, oh, sorry. He was like, no, I'm sorry. Oh, and then I was like, oh my God, he's so nice. Married or <laughs> Bare <no>. minimum. <laughs> I'm married and you're gay. <laughs> you just confirmed. said sorry, relax. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, Cute. But that was literally the only thing that happened all weekend for me. <laughs> well, that sounds like so much fun. Well, it, we watched the Grammys too, but that's like, yeah, whatever. I'm sure we'll talk about it. We'll that get later. there. Yeah, of course. It's a big story. Mm-hmm. No, I mean, not really, but we'll just go through everything and yeah. we'll tell you our takes. Yeah. So you got your nails done. Did you do anything else? I got my nails done. Um, not really. I went to the Silver Lake flea market. You're such a flea girly now. Well, it's funny because our my friend, the Vivacious McLean, her yes. name's McLean. She has a brand called Vivacious. Like randomly, she does flea markets like every weekend. Yeah, they're always there. Yeah. And I just saw it the other day and I asked Nolan, I was, like, I was like, have you been to the Silver Lake one? He loves Silver Lake. And he was like, no, let's go. So we just went. I know he's a Silver Lake girly. Yeah, he is a Silver Lake girly. Um, he also like loves Glendale. <laughs> He's like obsessed with Glendale. Weird. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I, I don't know. I've just been reading. Like, We're moving to Glendale. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> what is, um, what's that thing that Courtney says? She says, um, we're from Glendale. Yeah. Or we're like, not, uh, oh my God, like what Armenian. is it? It's not the, uh, oh my God. It's something so specific. It's not the land. It's Glendale. It's not the land. It's Glendale. Her mom says, it's a land of our people. Oh, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. That's not the land. that We're in Glendale. Yeah. I can't remember exactly what she says. They ha- When TJ did a rewatch of the Kardashians, um, we went, they would go to this restaurant called Carousel that's mm-hmm. in Glendale. Um, and we went there one time on a date because he was like, I really want to go try it. <laughs> yeah. Like, I want to go to all the places the Kardashians go. Yeah. <laughs> and we Classic. Went, and it was so yummy. Oh, they um, always have the yummiest places. But I really want to go because they do like shows. What do you mean shows? Like they do like shows while you're eating. Oh, like magic shows? Like what kind of shows? No, like, you know, like dancing, like Armenian oh. Oh, type fun. stuff. Oh, yeah. fun. That's fun. But I don't, I don't, I like, don't remember. Did we eat there? Yeah, I think we did. We like ate outside. So we weren't in like the main room. Yeah. So you couldn't see it. Yeah. But it was really fucking good. Yeah. They always have the yummiest yeah. or have eat the yummiest places. Mm-hmm. Um, Il Tram. Uh-huh. Yeah. I, I was thinking that too. Yeah. That was in one of our vlogs like forever ago. Yeah. TJ did it first. Of course. I love that he's like, he has like a list. (laughs) He literally had a list of like, yep. Health Nut is another one (laughs) from the Kardashian. Yeah. We went to the Calabasas one. Oh yeah. That's so funny. Yeah. He's a stan. Yeah. That's so funny. I know. (laughs) You're so lucky that he's into Uh, that stuff. I know. Thank Uh, God. Nolan, come on. (laughs) Get with the program. He'd be like, I don't get why. Maybe we'll just start taking him to the restaurants. Yeah. And he'll have no idea. Yeah. And then he'll be like, oh, I'm a stan too. Yeah. I think we did go to Health Nut a long time ago. Yeah. But I didn't tell him because I like honestly didn't remember. Health Nut is if you're like a Kardashian fan, it's where they get their salads and And shake shake it. Yeah. Like for years, I was always like, I need to eat that. I know. It, they always look so good on the yeah. TV show. And, and then they're we good. Get, like Courtney's, the Chinese chicken. Yeah. They have like really good sandwiches really too. And I love the little, um, what are those things called? Like the crunchy boys. Guan, like wontons? Mm, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Super. I just call them like the crunch sticks. That's fine. That's what they are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Then Fried I've, wontons. Yum. 
I know. It just like makes the salad. Feels like you're not like only eating salad. I know. Which is like treacherous. Salad just don't fill me up. I'm sorry. I was telling you this the other day. Maybe it was on our other like exclusive podcast for Patreon. My throat just made <laughs> a like noise. a dragon. <laughs> I heard that in the microphone. What? Like, what is that? It was like an air bubble or something. Yeah. Just your <laughs> uh, Jersey mics coming Being up. taken over. Postmates text you. Was that, did you burp up your Postmates? <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't yes. even a burp. That was so weird. It just like did it on its own. Mine does that at it's night like how sometimes. your tummy does it. It'll go. Yeah, it's like about to do it again. I can feel like that a happens gas at bubble. night a lot. It's so weird, and it, I'm like, is no one awake can hear this? Like, it's <laughs> like a freaking dragon. <laughs> yeah. Um. But yeah, I don't know. That was fun. Did mm-hmm. you get anything at the flea? No, he got some stuff. Nice, but I didn't. Nothing like you know triggered Spoke my. To you? Yeah, not really. Mm. And then I don't know. Randomly reading, so I just read all weekend. Oh my god. I know. What book? Um, so I read a book called, <laughs> I've weirdly did Corona not- Coronavirus. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I read a book called The Hot Zone, which is about the Ebola virus. I don't think we talked about it on like our podcast When podcast. was the last time that you read a book before that? Literally never. <laughs> well, no, I read one over the pandemic. Or when we went to Joshua Tree, I, was, I read a book there. What? Yeah, I was like reading a book and then I had How like- How did you have the time? I, Where were you reading I think it? it was when you guys were doing yoga, I had like two chapters left. So Got I just it. like finished it. Got it. Um, wasn't like that. It was a Colleen Hoover book and like oh, everyone loves Colleen tea. Hoover. And I was like- What I, book was it? Um, I couldn't tell you the name right now. I don't remember it. Oh um, Hoover heads are going to get real I mad. know, I know. And I've only read one of her books, so I don't know. But to me, it felt very cheesy. Oh. I know. I don't know. Oh my God, the- dragging Colleen Hoover I know and I'm sure like her other books are really good I, I don't, don't think I've ever read a Colleen Hoover book um I mean it was like engaging but I was just like okay I could have like guessed all of these things were it ends happen. with us no the night it was like beautiful something verity oh beautiful trap. ugly love ugly love that's what it was okay beautiful ugly <laughs> how did I mix that just up just a total <laughs> opposite yeah I mean I get that like makes sense yeah I've heard that verity is a really good book okay I don't know if Ugly Love is like one of her best books. Like, I don't really know. And also I hadn't read in so long. I don't know. Let me text is. Josh and I'll get, I'll get his um, opinion. Oh, does he read Colleen Hoover? Oh yeah. He's a big reader. Oh, funny. Yeah. I'm like weirdly into nonfiction, but like I ha- it has to be a book that reads like a story, if that makes sense. Like the Ebola one sounds insane, but it read like he- it's all true, but it reads as if it's a story or almost like a documentary that you're reading. I don't know. Hmm. Um, but yeah, now I'm reading one called um I mean, what was it called? Wait, he sent me like a whole list a few weeks ago of his like top rated books. I wonder oh. if it's on there. I just texted him though and asked. Okay. He would be like a good judge. So if yeah. he hates it, then I feel like it's probably like a okay. general opinion. Okay. I, I have, didn't hate it. It was like engaging, yeah. but I was just like, this is like cheesy. Sorry, that's my opinion. Oh my gosh. It was very cheesy. That's my <laughs> me. Me when the comments <laughs> come, keep rolling in. <laughs> We got to make this one a TikTok soundbite so everyone will get mad. A TikTok soundbite. Or whatever. It's called a TikTok video. <laughs> a TikTok soundbite. A TikTok soundbite. <laughs> um, Verity. Oh, he literally said Verity by Colleen Hoover. Oh, okay. But so many people, when I like posted on my story asking about book recommendations, oh, yeah. um, I can't believe I influenced you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you did. <laughs> um, they, they all, so many people were saying Verity. Okay. Call, and like every single person was like the seven husbands of Evelyn Hugo, oh, yeah. which like I bought, but didn't start reading it because I'm reading Josh Peck's book. Oh, okay. I'm wondering, um, well, that's fun. Yeah. I'm reading a super interesting one right now. It's called The Immortal Life of Henrietta Lacks. And it's so fiction? crazy. It's nonfiction, but it's like- Who is he? Huh? Who's the man? Who man? Who's Henry? Uh, Henrietta Lacks. It's a woman. So it's oh Henry. It's actually so interesting. <laughs> so it's about this black woman in the fifties, uh-huh. and she died of cervical cancer. Oh god! And these doctors took her cells without asking her or her family. So she was married with like a bunch when of kids. When she was dead. Um, before she died, they were they took a sample of her cells. Okay. And after she passed away, they basically started selling them. It's it's hard to explain. So her cells are still living now <gasps> and are still like dividing and they have used what? her cells to create like the polio vaccine, cancer research. It was a first- Are they I like think giving hum- her family money? No, <gasps> that's why it's so fucked up. It was the first human cells to go up into space. I'm pretty sure. And these, the medical- For what reason? <laughs> I think to see like how our bodies would react going into space. How do you tell that that's crazy? And it's so fucking sad because like, so she was, I think in her late twenties and she had a bunch of children. They were very like poverty. She mm-hmm. lived in like a wooden 
home. Um, and <laughs> wooden home. The, no, literally, it was like wood. I'm like, houses are made of wood. I know. That's hard. You know what I mean, though. <laughs> I know, exactly. <laughs> like oh. a cabin. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> a wooden home with cement yeah, and yeah. drywall. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm just explaining a house. You know, like the three little pigs. <laughs> I know that's what it looks like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, no, but it's so fucked up because her children are still like in poverty. I mean, obviously they're like in their fifties and sixties now, but they're like, why? Why did the medical community make millions up. of dollars and like we don't even have health insurance? Like they can't even afford health insurance. That's so interesting. It's I mean, so it's so like, crazy. Damn. And I, I think they use it to help make the COVID vaccine and HPV vaccine. How many fucking cells did they take? It They just like, it was the first human cells that and they, they could replicate. get to replicate. Yeah. Dude. So it's like very interesting. And like, obviously this like caused um, the medical community to start putting like laws on consent yeah. and stuff like that. But it's just, it's just so fucked up how the black community was treated during that time. Yeah. I mean, I'm sh when was this the 20s the 50s the 50s i just feel like they probably had no rules then no not really it was like no there rules. was like hardly consent rules about yeah. stuff like that no hipaa no hipaa i don't know about hipaa but it was like weird because they had so many rules about animals like you weren't allowed to do a lot of things to animals but with humans it wasn't really yeah a lot it was like suggested because they're probably like oh what's taking a cell no, yeah who cares about that and this guy had taken so many people's cells because he wanted to create this and like none of them were working so he was like whatever i'll just try hers too and oh my God. so interesting. Wait, TJ told me the freakiest story. This has absolutely nothing to do with like okay, cells. But, yeah. <laughs> but like sort of, I guess. So he did like a, they're doing like a festival in New Orleans. And so they have like add-on experiences. So one of them is like a, a tour where you do an airboat where you see alligators. And then <laughs> another one is like a bar crawl. And then this one that they did is like a haunted tour because New Orleans is super oh, yeah. fucking haunted. I can't wait to do that. And he, I think, unless the story's scary. Oh, I know. Um, fuck, I forget what the name of the house is. It starts with an L. Like Landry or something. I don't know. Oh my okay. God, they're going to cancel me. I bet like the spook heads are going to like know what <laughs> I'm talking about. The haunted heads. But basically like long story short. So this wicked rich family, like one was a doctor, like the guy was a doctor. They live, it's the house that's like based on American Horror Story. Oh, okay. Um, Jeez. That he was like a doctor. They were like so fucking rich. They lived in this house and then they would always throw parties, like huge parties with like the whole fucking town, whatever. Okay. And then one night during a party, the house like lit up in flames <gasps> and everyone like got out of the house. And then when the fire people came to put the fire out, they found like, I, it was like a slave at the time was like <gasps> chained to the oh oven God. or something. And they were, they were still alive, but they're like, well, <gasps> Oh, what are you doing? And she was like, I lit the fire. <gasps> and she was like, because I'm not okay with them doing all of this stuff with what's going on upstairs. And so they were like, what do you mean? And yeah. so then they went to go get the keys from the lady to be like, Hey, we just wanted to like make sure that everything's okay in the house, but like, didn't tell her what the um, person had said to them. And so they went upstairs into like the attic area. And then there was just like a cloth hanging on a wall and they took it down. And then there was like a door and they opened it. And it literally was like, they were doing experiments on humans, like human <gasps> centipede type <gasps> person. This like, was real? Yes. <gasps> it was like all these like fucked up, like holes in people's heads. Oh my like, God. Like they were doing like real life they, experiments they went to that house? at their house. Yes. Well, that you could just see like the outside of it. So it was like a mansion at oh. the time. And so then the whole like New Orleans was so pissed off. They were like, this is fucked up, whatever. And so they tore the house down, but like the oh. bottom layer of the floor was on it. And like for years or whatever, they were like, we could hear like groans and voices oh and blah, blah, blah. And then someone wound up buying it, built up a house. It was a plastic surgeon and he would work. He would do like plastic <clears throat> surgery in the house. Uh -huh. And it was still like the floor from the, the part where house. they didn't tear up. Uh -huh. And um, he got like really annoyed because doing plastic surgery, it would get like pretty dirty, like blood mm -hmm. would drip on the floor and then it stains. So he's like, okay, let's rip up the floor oh, no. and then replace it with something. They ripped up the floor and it was just filled with skeletal remains <gasps> of people. So the groans that people heard were people who were actually like trapped oh, under the fucking floor. My bed. God, shut the fuck up. Yes. Those are, they were still alive groaning. Yes, <gasps> but people just like didn't know. And then Nicholas Cage bought the house. What? He had <laughs> no on. idea. What? He had like years, years later. Yeah. He had no idea about any of this. So he's living in this house. To this day? N no, oh, okay. no. Cause he like went bankrupt and like, you know, all of oh. that stuff. 
Okay. Also, I think New Orleans like hated him. Oh. And um because he stole the Douglas of Independence. So yeah. <laughs> so he was living in New Orleans at that house, and then the haunted tour things with the tours would come by <laughs> and he was like why oh, the no. fuck do these tours keep stopping outside of my house <gasps> so he called the haunted tour company and was like hey like wh- why do you guys keep stopping at my house like what's up and they were like we think you should come on the tour <gasps> so he went on, on the tour, tour and they can just tell him they made it how he tour. fucking found out about all this horror that oh, happened in that home god. oh my god I, I wonder if you ever like experienced anything. I know, so scary. Oh my God, what a funny, not funny, but it's like funny that he bought it and had no idea. I, I know. And had to go on the haunted door. I Oh no. my God. Imagine if he had no idea and like he had someone visiting that wanted to do a haunted tour and they just like stopped at his house. It's, it's horrible. Like for that alone, like I could not live in the city of New Orleans. Like that's so the scary. City? Yeah. Well, it's all super, super haunted. Oh really? Yeah. Is that a place that the haunted tour is going to go to? Yeah, I think Just so. Outside. Was, yeah, I think oh. it's like a walking tour. Oh, you okay. can do it at like night too. So it's like oh. super scary. See, I get so much anxiety. I'm like, no, I'll get possessed. Like, I feel like I'm getting possessed. Wait, like, I'll like, just think that I know. something's happening. I feel like you'll love this too. So like the city of New Orleans hated him for whatever reason. And then he decided, oh, I'm going to build like in the cemetery <laughs> this like headstone for myself that was like a giant pyramid, <laughs> like so obnoxious. And everyone was like, okay, you fucking asshole. It was just like so over the top. And they already hated him. They were like, why are you making a cemetery in New Orleans? Yeah. And do you remember like years ago when there was that like giant crane that just like randomly fell in New Orleans? Mm-mm. Okay, well that Nothing happened. I think of, okay. And then it was like not near the cemetery, but the like magnetic like quake when it fell literally went all the way to the cemetery and then broke Nicholas Cage's shut headstone. The fuck up. And it, like it just fell. The curse off. of the house. Yeah. What? Isn't that crazy? That is so fucking bizarre. <laughs> I know. Like what are the I'd be like I need to move to another country. Like something I, bad's going to happen to but me. But like why would you know about that and stay? And like why are people still continuing to buy it? <laughs> Like someone bought it after him. How, I wonder how much the house is. TJ told me that I think the last person who bought it, who's like a billionaire, paid like $3 million for it, but it should be worth like a shit ton. Like it's a legitimate mansion. Like it's a discount enormous. for the haunted. Yeah. Hauntedness of it. So scary. Scary. Well, that'll be fun. I love stuff like that. I, I do, but I don't. Like, I would have to do it on like the night that I'm leaving. <laughs> so yeah. So you're not like No, lingering. but then I'd be like, oh, the spirits are following, following on the me. plane. Yeah. Oh, the plane. <laughs> also, um, Real Housewives, they went to, I think like Mexico and they went into like a little hut where they were doing like a, not like an exorcism, but like, <laughs> you know, like getting rid of the bad spirits. Yeah. So they were energy. doing like a, not a spell. Like, but like Reiki? A, no, it was, it's like a Mexican, like oh, cultural okay. thing. So they were doing like a, I'll just say spell. I don't really know yeah. what the correct term for it is. And it's like such a stupid fucking plot line, <laughs> but uh, they didn't finish it because one of the, they didn't like finish the whole f- spell because one of the women wound up passing out. Cause it's like a 100 and. <sighs> 10 degree like temperature little yeah. hot thing and so then one of the other housewives was like i just feel like there's like a demon in me and then <laughs> on the last episode they had like some like demon person come and was like pull, she was like breathe and she was oh breathing my and then she, like, was pretending oh to, she, my god she was pulling it out of her mouth and like threw it like this at the window and i was Into like another house lady is insane and she was like <gasps> It's gone. Oh my, what franchise is this? Orange County. They're like really. <laughs> Who was it? Do I know them? Uh, I don't think so. No, oh. Gina. She's like a new one. But it was just like <laughs> so somebody. I'm like, you guys really have nothing else. That to is like so go. ridiculous. But yeah, the lady was just. I'm like, a demon. She was just like breathe. She was oh like, I just God. feel like because we didn't finish the spell, like the the spirits like stayed in me. Do you believe in psychic mediums? Like, do you believe that they can actually do what they do? <sighs> I think, like, yes and no. That's yeah. I think that there are people who have that gift, but I think a lot of people just guess or yeah, like make it look bad. Um, no one's watching the saying, so like pop in every now and then. It's Penn and Teller. They had a show oh. called Bullshit in like early 2000s. Cool. And it's like 25 minute episodes and every episode's about something. Like one of them is like psychic mediums. Uh-huh. One of them is about like um, homeopathic diet, like just stuff like that. Yeah. And the one about psychic mediums was like really interesting because I used to are watch- they like 
like myth busting it almost kind of yeah okay. it's basically like anything that they talk about is gonna be bullshit for the most part okay and yeah it's just like a really interesting show wow yeah i think it's on hulu they're funny guys yeah it's like a funny little thing i don't know Binge. it's like so old too so yeah. it like looks like when we do were they kids. still have their residency i don't know Katy Perry took over. <laughs> yeah. So I remember Matt always wanted to go. It was like his thing. I feel like they like would, but I don't know. I don't know anything. I don't know anything either. Well, you are a Vegas resident. resident now. <laughs> you are a Vegas local. But that is your Next home. of kin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Vegas resident. Yeah. Yeah. So I guess I should know, but I don't. Um, okay. Well, let's get into <laughs> this day in history. Do you want to do a little ad read? Yes, I will. Okay. This part of the podcast is sponsored by Cocoa Floss, which I honestly need right now because we had a sandwich and I, I think there's lettuce stuck in my teeth. <laughs> Are you an everyday <laughs> flosser? And it's, what were you saying? Uh, nothing. Okay. I was like, she has a joke coming. I yeah, it was it. It's too much, too far. <laughs> okay. Are you an everyday flosser, an aspiring flosser, or trying to get the people in your life to floss? Like maybe kids or maybe me, because honestly, it's hard for me to floss sometimes and it's really bad. Yeah. With their super fun scents, it's hard not to want to. Cocoa Floss delivers superior textured floss, specially designed to scrub away plaque. Cocoa Floss was founded by two sisters, a dentist and an artist, on a mission to make flossing fun, motivating, and rewarding for everyone. Cocoa Floss is like a loofah for your teeth. It's a woven floss made of more than 500 hundred textured interwoven, 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 interwoven. Am I saying that right? Interwoven. Interwoven. I think so. Okay. Um, 500 textured interwoven filaments. It actually snatches the plaque and debris from between your teeth and gums. Cocoa Floss is scented to make flossing fun. Their popular scents are pure strawberry, cara cara orange, fresh coconut, and delicious mint. I love the strawberry. It is so nice in my mouth. Limited scents. Limited scents. (laughs) Vanilla bean, dark chocolate, passion fruit, and sweet pineapple. They are free of parabens, SLS, PFAS, and each spool is made from recycled water bottles. Go to cocofloss.me slash onlyfriends to get 20% off site-wide and free shipping. Um, Mention our... Oh, you can try all the different four fragrances and they're honestly i love the vanilla bean too and the caracor orange i feel like the orange is um super yummy um that's c-o-c-o-f-l-o-s-s dot m-e slash only friends and the discount will automatically be applied at checkout all lowercase all orders over twenty dollars ship free in the u.s love that yum um we love a yummy scent. oh josh said i've never heard of it okay that's good. maybe it's a deep cut Maybe it is. I don't know how I found it. I think it was on one of those TikToks. Stick to the list, (laughs) Erin. I should have stuck to the list. This is also like over a year ago. So that's good that even now still. He's never heard of it. No. Wow. Interesting. There's still like a loose ball in this headphone. It's so weird. When I move my head around, it sounds like a tiny pebble. What do they? They're destroying our set. (sighs) <laughs> Men, you can't live with them. You can't live with them, you know? Yeah, just with. Okay. I decided that for this day in history, I'm going to start talking about things that uh, just in terms of like shows and movies okay. that you haven't seen so that we can add it to the list. Okay. But mainly, like, I'm asking you about things that are, I would think you would know. Like popular. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, so, first and foremost, Barney and Friends. Obviously. Can you believe? Believe what? Like it was a show. Yes. No, or no. Like, I mean, <laughs> crazy show. That, like we grew up watching that yeah. and like, here we are. And now it's like an ancient artifact. Do you want to hear a funny story? Actually? Sure. My parents and I were what driving I said, somewhere. No. <laughs> I'm like, all right, continue. No, <laughs> <laughs> no I don't. Oh, <laughs> uh, my parents and I were driving somewhere and there was, I, th- I don't know, some event going on and there was a Barney, like someone dressed up as Barney. I guess, but he walked outside of this door and we were like driving. I want to say it was like a plaza or something. Okay. So he walked a plaza. (laughs) So he walked outside and he took his head off and started smoking a cigarette. (laughs) And my, I remember my parents were like, don't look, don't look. Cause obviously at that time I would have been like, oh my God. Why is Barney doing that? Yeah. Wait, what year did it come out? Oh yeah. What do you think? Was it before our time? No. 93. 92 my god right after our time I know. just in time damn yeah just, just in, in time, time. <laughs> <laughs> damn barney barney it's so crazy that crazy like, celebrities were on there when they were like little kids no selena demi yeah who else 
I don't know. That's all I know. (laughs) I'm like Justin Timberlake. It's like the Mickey Mouse Club. I get it confused. Christina, (laughs) Britney. Okay. And then the oh so iconic movie, Cry Baby. Mm -mm. Oh, we got to watch that one. What is that? Johnny Depp is in it. I don't think I've even heard of that. What? Is it old? New? It came out in 1990. New. No, it's like, it is, it's basically like, it's about, okay, so Johnny Depp plays this like biker boy. Okay. Who like loves this girl who's like, um, like prim and proper. Mm -hmm. Classic. Yeah. And then it's like, he like corrupts her and then he like, Love that. Uh, the, but okay, it's like so funny. He like saves her tears and like drinks them. Or maybe it's the other way around. <laughs> I haven't seen it in a really long time. But Tim it's like Burton. <laughs> so, and there's like, I'm pretty sure there's like music in it. Like they sing. Oh. Yeah, like Crybaby's in like jail. And he's like, oh, wait, it's so. Is good. it like kind of emo? Like mm. drinking tears. It just sounds like. It's just MGK. Like, it's so something. fucking ridiculous. MGK and like, like it's like funny. Oh, okay. Like it's like. If I watched it now, I'd be like, oh my God, this is so funny. Yeah, we'll have to watch that. Johnny Depp is so hot. In I was going to say, it's like his prime. Yeah, he's, oh my God, he's such like a young obsessed Johnny Depp. with Johnny Depp. I literally <laughs> loved him so much. Okay. Um, this is just an iconic day. Meet the Barkers premiered. Oh my God. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> Everything's crazy to me. <laughs> is that Can crazy? you believe? <laughs> like, we're so old now. I know. <laughs> that came out in 2005. Dang. I would love to rewatch. Did you watch it when it was out? Yeah. I think I did. Like, I remember being on. I can't remember if I, like, watched it, watched it. I could never, I couldn't tell you, like, a plot line, but that's, like, so much reality TV that I watch that I'm, like, I, like, the Jessica Simpson one. Yeah. Newlyweds. uh, That was, like, one of those first reality shows I ever watched, I think, besides Bug Juice. What's Bug Juice? It was on Disney. It was, like, those kids (laughs) at summer camp. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you remember that? Yep. That is so funny. (laughs) Bug Juice doesn't come from a job. (laughs) Okay. Workaholics. Oh, my God. That came out in oh, 2011. Man. Okay, I was gonna say, I have no idea. Yeah. For some reason, I thought that we were like in high school. Yeah. Well, I just thought it was no. around longer. And then another iconic Johnny Depp masterpiece Pirates. No. <laughs> yeah, keep guessing. <laughs> the only movie you Edward know. Edward Scissorhands. <laughs> no. Oh, I love that one. I know. That's such a good He's so hot in that, too. Like, that's I don't when know. I was like, I like emo men. <laughs> <laughs> you triggered your emo. No, I did. I was like, he's fucking hot. No, I know. I don't, what other, uh, J- I don't know any other Johnny Depp movies. Like, <laughs> I, I definitely do, but I Scratch can't. me with those paws. <laughs> <laughs> um, blow. Oh yeah. I never saw that. It is. That's a really good one too. Yeah. We should just do like a Johnny Depp day. Wait, who's the girl in that? Um, <sighs> Is she like, yes. Angelina Jolie? No. Oh my God. I keep wanting to say Pamela Anderson, but it's like, uh, uh, that's just on my head. It's not Pamela. <laughs> it's, oh my God, this is literally going to make me so mad. <laughs> I always ask too many questions. I just Penelope remember- Cruz. Oh, so oh, oh, that's why I was saying Pamela. Yeah. Pam. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> okay. Well, that was it for just like iconic television and movie. Like, yeah, that's a lot. A lot came out on this day good stuff too Barney? like it's almost as good as your birthday <laughs> almost <laughs> not quite okay speaking of birthdays we have <laughs> paul rudd okay which is like very normal i'm laughing at the next one Ugh, just because i know you don't know okay uh, todd chrisley no idea never heard of him in my I life i feel like you have okay it's like the most insane reality tv show it's called chrisley knows best it's like okay. this guy and his whole family they're from the south and it's just so fucking ridiculous is it like current yeah, but it came out like years ago, but it's like still on the air. Okay. But it's just so funny. Like it, what he's just channel is it on? I've never heard of it. I think Lifetime. Oh, that's probably why. <laughs> it's not Bravo. I forget. It's on something. But okay. no, it's like so funny. Wait, what is it about? <sighs> just like their family. Oh. But he's just like this guy not to stereotype but he comes off like very feminine Mm -hmm. and so he's like very sassy and like fucks with his kids (laughs) and is like very southern like it's a real it's just the most insane thing ever like it's so (laughs) probably like it yeah i would say that like it definitely feels like you can feel the forcefulness of a lot of it but if it's like on i'll throw it on like feel that it's fake yeah oh okay Oh, that's the worst reality shows you can tell they're fake. No, um, they all are pretty much. I know. And then Zach Braff. 
Oh, wow. How old do you think Zach Braff is? Oh, Paul and Todd are both 53 today. So happy birthday to those oh. kings. Zach Braff. Paul Rudd is non-aging also. I know. He's a cute. He's a cutie. I'd say Zach Braff is like fifth in his fifties. He's not sixties, forties. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I was like sixties is too much. Yeah, forty-seven. Exactly. Oh my god, I'm. So, I know him so well. <laughs> I don't know if you guys know him. He's from the new Cheaper by the Dozen movie <laughs> <laughs> that Aaron watched ten yeah. minutes up. <laughs> Have you ever seen Garden State? Yes. Okay, I was gonna say. Also, what's that hospital one? I always forget the name of it. Scrubs. Yeah, Scrubs. <laughs> no, I've seen it. I just couldn't think of the name. The hospital one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, okay. My ears are hot. So interesting that it, I guess your skin's just sensey. Yeah. It just gets too hot. <clears throat> it's so crazy that, um, the Ted La- Bill, Bill Lawrence was like the writer of Scrubs. Oh yeah. His daughter, Charlotte Lawrence. Yeah. A queen. Mm-hmm. I met him once. <laughs> I had a Twitter exchange with him once. <laughs> yeah. That was like kind of recent too. <laughs> yeah because our friend matt grippy like tweeted about how he didn't like ted lasso and then i was like and you added it your- <laughs> what's his name bill lawrence no he just saw it oh because i was like come on like it's such a good show and then bill tweeted back at matt and was like just give it another shot like i promise you'll like it <laughs> and then we were like how did this happen and then i was like "Ugh, i know he doesn't know anything that's <laughs> he's like good. taylor swift either yeah yeah oh yeah i said that i was like he doesn't like taylor swift either bill it's so funny did he ever say anything bill like, do you like it or reply? No, it? I think then Matt was like, oh, it'd be, stop being a suck up. And I was like, I'm not being a suck up. I'm just being funny. Like, I'm not trying to impress Bill Lawrence. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, it was clearly a joke. Yeah, I think he knows your humor. No, no, but Hopefully. I, Bill Lawrence. Like, oh, Bill Lawrence doesn't Then know favorited humor. the, like, stop being a suck up. Oh, <laughs> that's so funny. <laughs> I can't believe I'm fighting with Bill Lawrence. I know. a feud. Well, yeah, literally. <laughs> <laughs> a public feud with a, Bill Lawrence. Oh, my God. <laughs> so many potential titles for this episode i know my wheels are spinning oh god <laughs> okay well exposing this celebrity i think that's the good title oh yeah exposing all of these celebrities. exposing these celebrities bill lawrence and orville peck oh yeah yeah exposing these two celebrities these two celebs <laughs> um and that's how title title working <laughs> yeah title workshopping goes yeah okay now we can get into the celebrity news oh boy done done what isn't celebrity news today okay well we're gonna start with the grammy stuff because carly and i watched it um what was your overall take on the grammys did you enjoy (sighs) it it? okay i don't know it was like they had fun performances i was gonna say i was like satisfied with the performances yeah that's like the best part of shows i love music award shows like i I, i'll watch every vma Mm. Maybe we've been mu- there. Yeah, we've been there. Don't they do like music video awards? Oh, that is video award. Yeah, That's VMA. Like, There's another one that MTV does that I like. I don't know. Music. I know what you're talking mo- about. I don't, movie awards yeah, 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 they used yeah, to yeah, do. Yeah. Uh, Grammys are always really fun, obviously. Um, I don't know. I was like surprised at a lot of winners, but then you have to realize like it's not fans voting. I know. Yeah, we li- half of the people were like, who? Yeah, because <laughs> we're not like artsy and it's the Academy, you know, They're voting totally. on their specific field of artists yeah um okay we're gonna go through the winners um oh p i hear your little feet (laughs) her toes her nails um did it disappear on you yeah what the heck read more okay record of the year was (laughs) leave the door open (laughs) which i was like huh I literally had never heard that song before. <laughs> I had definitely heard it a lot, but I was just, I also was like, that came out in 2021. Like, it feels like that came out so long ago. I'm also just like confused. What does record of the year mean? Like the song? Song. But then so is like there single. a song of the year? I don't know. There, I, I think it's record of the year, album of the year. And then I don't know if there's a song of oh, the year. Oh, album of the year. That's what it is. Okay, yeah. yeah, record. I don't know. I just feel like, that's crazy to me and they were happier than ever i know that's why i was like what i feel like that song was fucking massive but again it's not like i said this last night i was like if this was like the people's choice awards or team choice awards like it's voted by you so i feel like those things would have won more because if you look at tiktok it's like olivia rigo is everywhere listen to this list peaches these are all the other nominees yeah okay peaches Kiss Me More, the Kiss yeah. the Doja song. Oh, yeah. Happier Than Ever, Montero. God. Which was fucking everywhere. Yeah. Like that, that was song's massive. ingrained in my brain. Yes. Driver's License. 
and then leave the door open. Like, I have not heard that song. <laughs> like, where? That's just, I don't know where I've heard it, but I've heard it a lot. I don't know where. That's but not like, like, is it like a big radio song? Maybe, but everything else is like huge on TikTok. I feel like that's why it's such a disconnect. Like, And maybe that's why it won, because it's more like... <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea. I, know. I mean, it's like a good song, I guess. I gotta like, do a full listen. Yeah, it's just very like, I don't know. They're I don't very, know. Okay, Bruno Mars has an incredible voice. Like, I can't. Yeah, lie. they're so good. But it, I was just shocked just because I'd heard all the, the other ones way a million more, times, and they're so popular. And that, like, that's coming from someone who doesn't really listen to any of these artists except for Olivia Rodrigo. Yeah, like I know them because they're so big. Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So it's like, huh. That's don't get wild. It. I don't get it. There is a song of the year. Oh, Leave the is. door open. <laughs> they won that too. Oh yeah, that maybe. Uh, I thought they won like duo or something. No, I, that I was Doja. Was... Yeah. Okay. So same thing. Driver's license. Happier than ever. Kiss me more. It's like all the same things. Call me by your name. Montero. Peaches. It's like all the same people for song of the year, and then leave the door open. One. <laughs> so interesting. Okay. And then album of the year. This one shook me. I don't know this person. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I feel like literally... Like out of the loop. Yeah. Same. He did an incredible performance, he was though. so John fun Batiste. to... John Yeah, he was so fun to watch. I was like, I don't know this song, but like... Yeah. This, I, would, I would go to his concert. Like, it was so much fun on stage. Such a good performance. Yeah. Um, but yeah, he won album of the year. And I have... <laughs> I'm sorry to this man. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I'm like, obviously he's well known. I just yeah. like, hadn't heard it. Sad that Taylor didn't want win, obviously, for Evermore. Evermore. I, know, I just like didn't. I was like, I don't. Yeah. She wasn't there. So we were like, I doubt she's going to win because she's not there. Yeah. Like, they I mean, know. <laughs> like, Billy, Olivia, Lil Nas X, her. It's so funny that like <laughs> Lady Gaga and Tony Bennett were nominated for so many things. I know. I was like, I didn't even know that. Justin Bieber's album. Like, this is cr- oh, even Kanye. Oh Donda. yeah, Donda, yeah. Crazy. I mean, that's like all huge albums. And I don't have to, like I I'm sure he's massive. I just had not heard his stuff yet. We are full like boomer energy. Yeah, I guess. Just out of the loop completely. Oh, and then Olivia Rodrigo won Best New Artist, as she should. Um, best soul pop solo performance, Olivia Rodrigo won, as she should. <laughs> yes. Best pop duo or group. We have Kiss Me More with Doja and SZA. Oh yeah, that was that, great. Doja's speech, I like, know. oh my god, she's just a cutie. Except like, is she done with music? I don't get it. <laughs> I don't know. Who, who knows? <laughs> um, best pop vocal album, Olivia Rodrigo. Best dance recording, alive, Rufus De Soul. Mm. No idea. Best rap album, Call Me If You Get Lost, Tyler the Creator. This one must have, I don't I remember don't, him accepting I did not award. see that. Maybe that was like an off camera one. That's Which is weird. So I feel like they would, maybe we were like talking and gossiping. When we were happened. gossiping a lot. Yeah. Wait, okay. I would have absolutely remembered the best rap song was Jail. Oh. By Kanye was, that is my jam. Wait, how come Guess that wasn't on TV? Jail tonight. That song is so fucking good. Yeah. But like, why didn't we see that? How do you have best pop song, but best, but not best rap song? Huh? Like, how do they do the awards for that? Like, how are they picking know, and choosing? Unless we missed it or something. But I think we would have seen that. And Kanye definitely wasn't there. Or so. Jay-Z. Huh? Or Jay-Z. Jay-Z. He, he's on that song. Oh. <laughs> yeah, no idea. Um, What? Yeah, Weird. there's like so many things on here that were definitely not like... Best R&B performance. Silk Sonic won that one too. They won a lot. Damn. Yeah, they went home with a lot of Grammys. American Roots performance. John Batiste won for another song, Cry. I wonder if Taylor is sad because remember when Reputation, or what, was it Reputation that I didn't get? No, the one before that. Remember her documentary? And they were like, your album was not nominated. Oh, I like, don't remember. And she was like, I just have to make a better album. I remember when we, the country artists came on. We were like, oh, don't care. <laughs> yeah literally that's so weird that they didn't have the rap maybe we know. were like in the thick of um, making bracelets or something maybe well i was watching when you guys were doing that i don't know interesting yeah well <laughs> it was like c- clearly part of it we just didn't see it <laughs> people are like um they did televise it oh my god i would have been so excited to know that jail won best rap song yeah it is <laughs> it is the best rap song yeah <laughs> go listen to it if you don't <laughs> 
I feel like it's always like it was a TikTok sound. Was it? Yeah. Guess who's going to jail tonight? Oh my God. Wait, I don't think I ever saw a single TikTok. Mm -hmm. I made one. I was like, when you're when you realize your boyfriend's been using your you Olaplex. <laughs> oh my I god. Do. Wait, that's funny. Yeah, it's like stuff like that. Or like there were a lot of girls who would be like, when I've had two drinks at a bar and someone brush brushes past me or like hits my arm. Right. Guess who's going to jail tonight? I need to now when this is done. Go through the sound. Yeah. Yeah, it's funny. I'll be lolling. It's funny because like I'll do that where I'll go through a sound, but I, after like three TikToks, I can't do it anymore because it's Cause the, the same sound. sound over and over. And it's like, oh, but I want to find a good one. That's really funny. Yeah. That's a really funny thing. Yeah. That is just such a good song. Okay. Next in celeb news. Well, actually, before we get into the next celeb news, let's thank the sponsor Dipsy. Love that. For this, for sponsoring this podcast. Spring fever is in the air with the smell of fresh blooms and the sun shining down on us. You can't help but feel inspired to spice things up and explore your inner desires and fantasies. Honestly, I walk the dog every day and the the sense of flowers like truly puts me in a better mood that I'm like, <laughs> yeah, the, like you also have like the cutest walk. Gonna, what am I going to do tonight? <laughs> <laughs> um, fine. So find stories that match your mood this season on Dipsy. Dipsy is an app full of hundreds of short, sexy audio stories designed by women for women. They bring scenarios to life with immersive soundscapes and characters, no matter who you're into or what turns you on. Find stories about that intriguing coworker with a British accent. Oh my God. Oh, love that. Or hooking up with your hot yoga instructor. They even have stories designed specifically for your Zodiac sign. New content is, is released every week. So in between listening to your favorite stories again and again, you can always find something new to explore. Dipsy also has sleep stories, wellness sessions, and now they also offer written stories. It's your go-to place to spice up your me time, explore your fantasies, or heat things up with a partner. Or if your partner goes out of town all of the time, <laughs> every fucking weekend, like mine, it's like a fun <laughs> little treat for yourself. So like, I don't know. Think about it. For listeners of the show, Dipsy's offering an extended 30-day free trial when you go to dipsystories.com slash onlyfriends. That's 30 days full access for free when you go to D-I-P-S-E-A stories.com slash onlyfriends. Dipsystories.com slash onlyfriends. Thank you, Dipsy. Thanks, Dipsy. Okay, next story. Martha Stewart's dogs kill her cat. What? <laughs> oh my God, what? Literally, okay. I need to know what kind of dogs these are. I gotta give you all these screenshots because like, <laughs> it's just this story is wild for here's her cat oh really sad it was 12 so she lived a long life okay. like but still probably would have lived like 10 more like, years it, <sighs> martha stewart's cat princess peony is dead in her ninth life <laughs> like this oh my article God. just insane ended violently at the pause of <laughs> I can't even say it. This is so dumb. TMZ is so there. Like the way they write high. it. Like her ninth life ended violently at the oh. pause of Martha's four dogs who mistook her for a rogue threat and killed her. Huh? I then was like, oh, she must have like Doberman or like crazy big dogs. She has two Chow Chows <laughs> and two French Bulldogs. Oh my God. That's who did the murdering. All four of them? Yeah. It said they like attacked the cat. What? Says oh, Martha. Randomly, like I don't understand. Yeah. Martha broke the news Sunday, revealing Princess Peony died in a case oh of God. mistaken identity. Her social media caption read, burying the beautiful and unusual Princess Peony. The four, the four dogs mistook her for an interloper and killed her defenseless little self. Aww. I will miss her very bad. Like, what did they do? I know that. I'm like, did they like uh, maul her? her? <laughs> like, that's why I'm like, they're little dogs. Like yeah. you have chow chows and Frenchies. Like they're not like murderers. Unless they just like punctured something and killed the yeah. cat. That's so but sad. But like, still, you would think that they would like smell her. But so she posts Yo. this picture on Instagram. This is like so insane. It's like three. <gasps> oh my God. What the fuck? It's, like, three men. <laughs> what the fuck? Who dug like a hole in the ground and <laughs> <laughs> Like are clearly now covering her body. There's a wheelbarrow. Like it's no, so that's insane. Like, like she posts they're at a gravesite. It looks on like Instagram. That looks like back in the day when they had to dig their own grave. Like she <laughs> like, didn't even post like a cute picture of the cat. Like this is like morbid shit. Oh my god! I know that is so fucked up. How that would be such a weird feeling because obviously she probably loves her dog so much, but also loves her cat. So it's like I know how would you ever like or forgive the dog? Maybe it was an inside job. 
Yeah, maybe they just buried the cat alive. Yeah. <laughs> she got that photo. Like, maybe, because I'm like, this is sketchy. Yeah, th- they didn't say, like, what it nope. actually happened. How does, I don't understand how a dog mistakes the cat for Four what? dogs. For what? Uh, Like, an intruder, or like, a bad guy. But, like, dogs and, and like, animals go by scent. The French bulldogs are probably smaller than the fucking cat. Yeah. <laughs> for the ca- I'm surprised a cat didn't kick their asses. <laughs> yeah, like, what? That is Poor so baby. sad. I had not heard that. They must that have is- just, like, bit something and, like... Yeah, yeah, like, like a carotid it. artery or yeah. something. Oh, poor I baby. Went to text you this picture so I didn't forget and typed in Martha. <laughs> like I'm sending it to Martha oh, Stewart. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, rest in peace to Peony. That's so sad. Peony? Peony? How do you say that word? I don't know. Peony. Like peony flowers? Yeah, P E O N Y. Peony. Yeah. I was calling it Peony. Peony. <laughs> It might be also pronounced that way. I really don't know. There's a lot of words that I never hear out loud. No, I know like reading it. I was like, that's wrong. Every yeah. time I said it out loud, I was Peony. like, that's wrong. That's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Peony. Why would you name your cat Peony? That's such a hard Maybe it's name her favorite to say, flower. Probably. Okay. Um, and now for the news of the day, baby. If it's not Kim and Kanye, it's just Kanye. Yep. <laughs> we got to always, we got to talk about him every time. <laughs> Kanye West officially drops out of Coachella. I added the officially because like I knew this was going to happen. Yeah, we've talked about this we've forever. We've manifested this. Yeah, we did. Okay, here's my thing. I enjoy Kanye's music. Yeah. I would, I've never seen him perform. I would love to see him perform, but I think at this point in time, like I wouldn't enjoy it because mm-hmm. I'm like harboring resentment towards him in uh, yeah. the way that he's behaving. Mm-hmm. And I just think that maybe this is for the best for my mental health. Yeah. So that I, for you. <laughs> so that I can enjoy it at a later date. I like, think that's so nice of him that he did that for you. Same. Yeah. Um, so it says Kanye West will no longer be performing at Coachella this year, leaving the festival with an open headliner spot and fans without an appearance from Travis Scott. Sources connected to Ye tell us he's decided to pull the plug on his performance at the two week long event in Indio, California, which starts next weekend. What's more, we're told Travis Scott was supposed to join Kanye on stage. So that's now out of the question as well. God. It's currently unclear exactly why Kanye is backing out, but he's clearly had a tough few months slashing out at Kim Kardashian, Pete Davidson and Trevor Noah on among others, on social media. Kanye's cancellation leaves Coachella with an obvious hole. Um, so. Here's, I know there's probably a logical explanation, but I'm just, the only thing I, I can think of, it's, okay, it's like two weeks away at this point, less than two weeks away. Yeah. Do they have artists on standby practicing? Because that's like not a long time to practice a whole Coachella set before. Okay. Here's, replacing here's my take when they booked kanye i feel as though they fully were like we need an understudy because yeah. in 2019 he also pulled out of coachella true. so they were probably like this a very good chance that this will happen again he's completely unhinged i feel as though at least if they didn't do it at the beginning for the past like few months they've been like we gotta find a backup so who's I don't know. Also, though, it's kind of scary because COVID, like any, like Billy, if anyone from Billy's like band or she gets COVID yeah. or Harry, it's like, I know. how do they fill those spots? I know. It's really all I can think of when I these know. things happen. Um, I, so they're going to replace him. Yeah. Who Who do you think realistically um, would replace Kanye at Coachella? Okay. Well, here's the thing is the current headliners it's not like super diverse so with yeah. kanye i feel like they'll definitely re- replace him with not like a taylor swift or like a white person well also like, if it was like olivia rodrigo or something it's like her music is like the same as billy and harry pretty much They're like in the same world totally. so i feel like kanye worked because it was a different scene yeah. i would think that if say they would like add olivia rodrigo to the lineup they'd like bump someone else up like doja cat they'd like make her a headliner or yeah. like somebody else and then just like add olivia because i don't even think olivia has enough songs to do like a full headlining yeah. set mm-hmm. like it would be like how long third, are those the headliners uh-huh. i think they get at least an hour like an hour and a half uh-huh. um 
but I don't know. I was thinking like maybe like Lil Nas X or like a J Balvin or like someone oh, in like yeah. the Latin scene who was like really good this yeah. year, uh, like Bad Bunny, something like that. Mm-hmm. But I honestly just feel like whoever it is, I'm not going to care about because I only want it to be Taylor. <laughs> I know. I mean, how iconic would it be? I, It'd be such no. a, it would be such a karma event. It would be like, but <sighs> it's too close to Harry and Billy. Like they're all the same, like fans and you know i don't know if they would do something like that like who is practicing like obviously somebody has been behind the scenes like practicing for coachella in yeah. case kanye pulls out. oh no 100 percent. they've definitely had someone be like hey like are you can you keep this time frame free yes if kanye backs out you're on that's crazy imagine getting that call like hey you're headlining coachella now like yeah. somebody got that like, call the other sick. day probably i wonder if they did it i wonder if it'll be like um because the the lineup in 2020 was going to be like so different. Like um, oh. Frank Ocean was going to be headlining. Oh, right. oh, that'd be nice. Yeah. I feel like that'd be a good. But I feel like he already confirmed for 2023. So yep. maybe he is just like, no, whatever. Yeah. I don't know. I think our camera's dying. Cool. Looks like it's at 20 something. Oh, it's at 13. <laughs> oh. I could not see. Um, So I don't know, but hopefully they fucking announce it soon. I'm getting so annoyed. There's no times for anything. Like, I just want to know what's going on. I feel like they should announce it soon because I'm sure a lot of people got tickets to see Kanye. So like for those people, that really sucks. I know, but I also feel like a lot of, like if you're going to Coachella, you're not going for just one yeah, artist. Like you don't true. buy a ticket for that, but like, of Still course you're heavily fans, swayed. Yeah. yeah. But also I feel like Kanye is like way more attainable than if someone like who was a Frank Ocean fan who like yeah. hasn't toured. That's true. He, like, then they'd tour. be like devastating. Yeah. Oh God. I can't believe it's like happened actually. I knew I can't it. believe you've done this. <laughs> Full manifestation. Yeah. But like, I not surprising. <sighs> That's at, the thing. At, I know they're going to replace him with someone I don't care about. And like, I would have rather have seen Kanye, but like now we'll it'll just see. be like, okay, I can just like go home early. And yeah. like, honestly, that's more ideal. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Cause like, of course, like TJ would want to see Kanye like, totally, and then yeah. I'd be like, okay, I'll go. And yeah. then I would have like an amazing time, but then I would feel like weird. Yeah. I'd be like, guess who's going to jail tonight? <laughs> Dang, that does suck. I'm yeah. like, well, I guess I'll find out. I wonder by the next podcast if they'll have announced, hopefully. I feel like they'll announce everything next week I'll, because next week is Coachella, mm-hmm. the first weekend. So I feel like at least everything will be out by, oh my God. I mean, I don't even know. You would think it would be out by now. I know it's so close. I feel, maybe by this, by like Friday, yeah. we'll have a, a, like a order yeah of when everyone's performing oh they don't even have that Jeez. no like people who are going literally don't know when people are performing and like you have to like it's like a whole google spreadsheet like you have yeah. to see okay i need to go to this stage for that time and this stage that yeah. time and like go oh, i'll see all these oh, things god i know it's what a nightmare it couldn't be me <sighs> yeah me neither. okay well that's all for our celeb news <sighs> okay and we'll just move right into am i the asshole okay well before we do that we will thank the sponsor of this part of the podcast, BetterHelp. Woo, woo, woo. This podcast is sponsored by Better BetterHelp Online Therapy. Relationships take work, especially the most important one you can have in your life, your relationship with yourself. A lot of us will drop anything to go and help someone we care about. We'll go out of our way to treat other people well, but how often do we give ourselves the same treatment? Um, I've been in therapy for such a long time. It's the best thing I've ever done for myself, and I feel like everyone should try it out if they haven't. I feel like it's just the best thing you can do for yourself. Um, So this month, BetterHelp Online Therapy wants to remind you that you matter just as much as everyone else does. And therapy is a great way to make sure you show up for yourself. BetterHelp is online therapy that offers video, phone, and even live chat sessions with your therapist. So you don't have to go or you don't have to see anyone on camera if you don't want to, which is kind of iconic, I will say. It's much more affordable than in-person therapy and you can be matched with a therapist in under 48 hours. Give it a try and see why over 2 million people have used BetterHelp online therapy. This podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp and only friends listeners get 10% off their first month at betterhelp.com slash only friends. That's B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P dot com slash only friends. One more thing I wanted to add about Kanye. I said on my Instagram story today too, is that I hope that he's dropping out because he's like getting help finally and not just like oh yeah dropping out to drop out yeah because i did see somewhere last week that said that he was um he, he was not making any public appearances interesting and so i was like wonder what's going yeah i know <laughs> <laughs> you're like no coachella hopefully <laughs> <laughs> you're like dead said that and then 
um, it like mentioned something about him like getting like seeking help. So oh. here's to hoping like that's why yeah. that would be really amazing. Um, Better help just reminded me of that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but that's funny. I hope that's the case because if not, then like what a fucking dick yeah. for just like doing that again. Um, okay. I had an Am I the Asshole. I don't know if you read it. No, I didn't. Okay. So you saw the text. Okay. I thought that I said no. Yeah. But then I realized I never texted you back. And then I was it's like, fine. Oops. I just cried. I was like, she hates me. No, I'm just kidding. So somebody tweeted at us and was like, I want you guys to read this on the podcast. So I was like, Aaron, don't read it if you haven't yet. Because yeah, I, I was obviously reading it. And I was like, well, maybe I should read this. Is our battery okay? Can you yeah, see? It was me? at 11%. Oh, okay. No, it's at nine. Okay. Well, it's dropping by the second. Oh, God. Okay. Am I the asshole for eating at the same restaurant as my husband's family? I, 32 female, have been married to my husband, 35 male, for three years. We dated for two years before that. I want to start this off by saying that he really is a good guy in other areas. Ooh, okay, kinky. <laughs> my husband's parents, his two brothers, ages 38 and 40, and his brother's girlfriends slash fiancés have a tradition of going out to dinner once a month. I am invited about half of the time, 50% of the time. I've talked to my husband's brother's fiance and she says she is invited every time. When I say I'm not invited, I mean that my husband tells me I'm going to tell, I'm going to family dinner. It's probably best if you sit this one out. When I expressed that I wanted to come, he told me that it would be for the best if I didn't. It has caused several fights. About a week ago, my husband went to a family dinner and I wasn't invited. I was very pissed. So earlier that day, I called and made a reservation at the restaurant we, they were going to. My husband left the house oh not knowing about my reservations and I left 15 minutes after him. I ended up seated at a table where I couldn't see his family. So I got up as if I was going to the bathroom oh. and walked right past them. They were all there, including his brother's significant others. Mm. My husband looked completely shocked and asked me what I was doing there. I told him that I had just been dying for a steak. So I came and got one at the restaurant. <laughs> My mother-in-law said it was very rude of me to interrupt their family dinner. I pointed out that I wasn't trying to join them. I was just going to the bathroom. I told them to have a good meal and I left. I went and finished my steak by myself. My husband was really pissed when he came home and he told me that he couldn't believe how much of an asshole I had been. I said that if he, I said that he was being an asshole for not inviting me to his dinners when his brother's significant others got to go. My husband said that the decision was... Sorry, the, 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 uh, the decision to invite was between him and his family and I should respect it. Anyway, with the way with the way the word asshole was thrown around, it made me think of this sub. So I wanted to ask, am I the asshole? <laughs> I can't believe you're like taking the time to do that, not just immediately going to get divorced. To the courthouse. Isn't that so weird? I'd be like, wait, why are you not inviting me when like everyone else is invited? Like, are you embarrassed of me? Like, do your parents not like me? Like what's going on? And I'm like shocked by this. How are you with this person? I know. Still? Like, and for the mom, the mother-in-law to be like, you're so rude. I you're know. Interrupting our family like, dinner. What a bitch. I'm sorry, but what a bitch. I, I love that she went though and like made a reservation. That's I, so iconic. It could never be me. Oh my God. No. I would never be able to do that. <laughs> I know. I would also never be in that situation because like everyone's obsessed with me. Yeah. No one could ever do that to you. <laughs> <laughs> but like, oh my God. It's so sad. I know. Poor girl. And like not knowing who is going to be there and then you show up and it's the whole fucking family except for How you. How embarrassing. Like I'd be like, what the fuck is going on? That is horrible so it's like clear that it's weird because it seems like the brothers significant others don't know that she's uninvited because like oh yeah. no we're invited every time but the mom seemed very off put by it so maybe it's like all the mom yeah she's like the um the head of the family that's like yeah oh, not this time sunny what a bitchy mom but also like what a terrible husband like yeah. immediately leave him i know like if he doesn't stick up for you like that that's a bad uh, sign like if tj's family was like no, Aaron can't come. Like, and if he wasn't like, okay, then I'm not coming. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> yeah. Bye. Yeah. For like a good reason. But again, they would never say that because they love me. And now that you're like really close <laughs> to this family. But, but you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like in any situation, like if my significant other didn't stand up for me or yeah. want me to be there or like fight for me to be there, like, what's the point? I know. It's that's just not weird. A, that's and it's Sick. like it's not like it's only the kids like yeah if it was that i'd be like okay i get it like maybe they just want like their own like family dinner once a month but like i'm so uncomfortable so sad so terrible i know and like of course she's not the asshole i wonder if um she's like followed up at all i don't know that is fucking crazy i know that is a bad how embarrassing i know for the family yeah. honestly i love that she went and kind of showed them that she was there 
I that's truly I wonder also like was it an outback <laughs> I know I don't know or like a fancy right or longhorn <laughs> <laughs> or fancy like longhorn yeah <laughs> or like was like, it a master like, uh, yeah a- like I need to know like the type of establishment because like I'm getting outback vibes I know just based on like the mother-in-law I don't know but like do you make reservations for what outback? the fuck <laughs> no, actually no I don't can you so. make reservations at like Applebee's I don't think so. I feel like you might. Maybe now. Maybe. It definitely never used to be a thing. Like Olive Garden, Applebee's, like, TJ you, Fridays. Like, uh, can I don't you think at like you Olive Garden? I'm, the only reason I'm asking because like I grew up with them and like I, my parents would never make reservations anywhere because you would just like walk into a restaurant. Yeah. So I don't know. No, I, I don't believe that you could. Because I, I would think like you if you now. have a big birthday party or something, oh, that's true. like you'd want to make a reservation. And like those places do get pretty crowded at dinner time. Like I, Olive Garden is so hard to eat at. Well, like, that's why I'm only saying that because like whenever we would show up, it was like first come first serve. Oh, maybe that is. And you it. have to like always wait. So if you got there at a bad time, yeah. But maybe you could make reservations, and our parents know. are just lazy. Yeah, or just like not a big enough town to like need a reservation. Olive Garden. Did you used to call it the OG? We called it yeah. OG. Yeah, <laughs> the OG. It's like calling Target Target. I don't think you can. Hmm. You can, okay, you can put your name on the restaurant wait list before arriving. That's what they would have. They'd have a wait hmm, list. Interesting. And they give you buzzers. Oh, yeah. Any restaurant that's like that gives you buzzers, thing. don't take reservations. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I'm guessing Applebee doesn't either. I don't think so. But again, I don't know. So maybe Outback doesn't either. Maybe it's not Outback. No, Outback definitely has the buzzers. <laughs> yeah, they do have the buzzers. They have the buzzers. <laughs> it's like a Chili's also. Yeah. Yeah. All those chains. Mm-hmm. Okay. And funnily enough. 3%. One of my eyes is like blurry. I have to squint. I have to close it. You need it. to go to the I eye doctor. know. I'm too scared. That I'm... They're just going to be like, you need glasses. No, I feel like I'll, they'll be like, you have a brain tumor and one of your eyes is being affected. <laughs> well, we should find that out b- b- sooner rather than later. I just later. would rather live my life. <laughs> No, I don't. I know I don't want to get fucking glasses. Yeah, but you could get like contacts. It's weird because I can see perfectly fine. But it's like if I close one eye, like if I'm looking out of the bad eye, it's pretty blurry. So you can't, so what you're saying is you can't see perfectly. fine. Well, when both of my eyes are open, I don't see an issue if because that, that one is clear. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't have an issue when both of my eyes are open. Like, it's still fucked up. But like, yeah, but when you're, I can drive you're not and stuff. experiencing life to its full potential like you could get a glass and it would change your life like when a kid gets a cochlear implant no, but this I this just started happening like a couple years ago so I've always years uh, years that's a long time yeah I know I'm scared I'm gonna make you an appointment <laughs> <laughs> I don't have an eye doctor because I've never had to go I went before it's so easy okay it's like kind of cool that you yeah. do like so many tests. Yeah. The second he tells you to close your other eye. It's bad. Fucked. Like, yeah. He's going to be like, read these letters and you're going to be like. Uh, no way. <laughs> yeah. No way. It's weird. We'll get you some cute glasses. They have cheap glasses. <laughs> you can get like a designer. Warby pair. Parker. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Then we'd be able to get brand deals from Warby Parker. Yeah. Like, one of I do wear glasses. glasses. Oh, I, I, I think I would be cute in glasses. I have glasses. I don't wear them. Do you them. have an astigmatism? Yep. Oh, you do? Yeah. I think like, honestly, like everyone does. Yeah. It's like, you know, like everyone has HPV. Wait. <laughs> yeah. Everyone has an STD. We all have STDs. Yeah. Wait. So if you, is it in one eye or both? Um, I think it was one. I honestly don't even remember. But so like, if you close one, can you tell? No, it's like really, really slight. He literally was like, you don't necessarily need to even get this. Mm. But I was like, well, if it'll help me. It was yeah, mainly for when I'm like went. using my computer. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, and I bought them and then never used them. Well, our next, maybe I'll get an eye doctor to just come and surprise you. Ooh, that'd be fun. The thing is like, I'm not bad at like making appointments. I just like, I'm scared too. Yeah. But then it's like, what do you want to know? Yeah, I guess. He, they're just going to be like, you just need glasses. I know. You need bifocals now. <laughs> you're, you're 31. You need bifocals. Bifoc- it's like pretty crazy. It's like pretty blurry compared to the other one. Oh my God. I literally can't believe you've lived like that for years. Well, cause I don't, I literally can't tell unless I'm closing one eye. Yeah, but like, like how often do I do that? You're like aware though. Like the yeah. second I n- noticed, I'd be like, gotta go. I know. I'm just like, gotta blast. I'm too scared. <laughs> if, Straight to the eye doctor. If it was like, I was having a pain in my body somewhere, like I'd go to the doctor, but it's like something that I'm like, okay, it's probably just an astigmatism, but like, <sighs> what if like your retina was detached? What? Yeah. <laughs> 
Okay. Like it could be all these things. Is that what happens when your retina gets detached? No, because I think that if, if it's been like that for two years, I think it's probably fine. Because yeah. I think if like your retina detaches, like you could die. What? Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> I don't know. I think you just go blind in an eye. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like you're going partially blind. No, I'm not. It's just blurry. It's a little blurry. It's fine. People live like this. <laughs> no, they go to the eye doctor. No, I know. But I mean, like they're fine. They're not like detaching their <laughs> retina. Well, it could be or... detached. Maybe it was like you went on a roller coaster a few years ago <laughs> and it like jolted you. Ew. Okay. You do love. You're putting your hypochondria on You do right love now. rides. I do. <laughs> Maybe it was at like Universal one yeah. time. <laughs> What do you mean blurry? Blurry? Like this like, eye, you're like, crystal clear. And this eye, it's like foggy. Okay. Yeah. You probably just need glasses. Yeah. Or have a detached retina. Okay. Or I have a brain tumor. Oh, TJ, COVID negative. <laughs> you don't have a brain oh, tumor. Oh, to come back. I think you'd have like way more symptoms. <sighs> yeah. Like memory loss. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I've always said that. <laughs> no, I know. Okay. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> like not knowing what Joe Dapadel looks like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Shit. So like <laughs> the doctor's like, what are your symptoms? <laughs> I just like can never remember what Clint Eastwood looks like. <laughs> He's Do you like, think I don't they have a brain tumor? <laughs> that's how they test it. <laughs> yeah. He's a celebrity. Oh my God. Okay, next day, am I the asshole? Am I the asshole for walking out of a restaurant because, my, oh my God, the way I just said restaurant. Also, restaurant's a big theme with these today. I know. Because my girlfriend ordered spaghetti. I, t- 25 Did male. she want the essence of the tomato? <laughs> oh God. That's the same one. I, 25, I couldn't stop thinking about that, that I told the whole story to TJ. And I was like, isn't this insane? You did? Yeah. Did, what do you think? He was like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, he thought it was crazy. I, 25 male, am dating a woman, 24, named Allie. Oh, you're just outing her. (laughs) We moved in together five months ago, and I really love her a lot. Allie just doesn't have great table manners. She eats noisily and sloppily. In a restaurant environment, usually this isn't too bad because of the natural ambient sound. In a quiet room, it is much more noticeable. I don't exactly like it, but I usually can tolerate it. However, when Allie eats pasta, she slurps her noodles so (laughs) loudly that people from other tables look. It's completely mortifying to hear people murmur about her loud slurping all of the time. I know this might be normal in some cultures, but from where I'm from in the US, it looks really uncultured and bothers some people who are more sensitive to sounds. I've tried to teach her how to use a spoon to spin the pasta into a ball. Nope. She doesn't want to. I've tried to ask her to take smaller bites. Nope. That's how she eats pasta and that's how she'll always eat pasta. We've been to a local Italian restaurant half a dozen times and each time but one in a basically empty restaurant, she humiliated me with her loud slurpy eating. Oh God. I know I shouldn't care what other people think, but I agree with the patrons. It's disgusting. People are trying to enjoy a meal. I finally got frustrated one day and told her that I wouldn't eat noodles with her in public anymore. She can eat alone or she can go with friends. I'll happily drive her to the restaurant, but I will not sit down with her. She kind of blew off my message with a, oh yeah, you're perfect, so I get it. (laughs) And I thought that was that. Last night, Allie really wanted to go to our local Italian place again. I asked her if she would be ordering spaghetti. (laughs) She rolled her eyes and said she'd get the lasagna. I agreed that was fine and we went on our first, for the first time in a while. When the waitress came waitress came to take our order, Allie completely went back on her promise and ordered spaghetti. I told the waitress I wouldn't be needing anything, stood up and walked <gasps> to our car. I relaxed in the car listening to a podcast until Allie came out a while later. She sat down and started giving me the silent treatment. When we got home, she yelled at me about embarrassing her, would not let me say a single word without shrieking over me and said that she'd only She's only interested in an apology. I refused and she went into another room to loudly talk shit about me to herself intentionally so I could hear. I don't know if I went too far. Hmm. This just reminds me of like a Larry David skit. Yeah, no, it doesn't seem real. Although I believe that it's real. Um, This is kind of layered because it's like. mm. Yeah, to me, there's like no clear answer. Yeah, I'm like, like, there's no you are or you're not. Cause it's like, how do you, how do you go about that situation? Like if you're dating someone who was really embarrassingly ate very embarrassingly and you told them and they're like, well, this is how I eat. It's like, okay, well, I don't know what to say after that. (laughs) It's like, okay, I guess that's just it. I wish that he sent like in a video so I could (laughs) understand. Yeah, I know. know. Like I need an example. It seems to be bad if people are offended in restaurants. But also I feel like some people have like a heightened sense of what is actually happening like someone like sammy has it really bad where she's like oh that 
like I said something too loud and that person's now staring at me. It's because of me, not because of like anything else. Yeah. Like something else that's happening in the restaurant. So like maybe this guy just interprets, interprets people, interprets, interprets people. Maybe he's projecting. I don't know if it's projecting. I think that he may just be like assuming that people are annoyed with her because he's annoyed with her. I don't know, but okay. For the sake of the, argument sure. say everyone was like damn that's loud i don't know i feel like it's valid if sh- if she was like i'm gonna do something to not make you uncomfortable and yeah. then she went back on her word and she knows that makes him uncomfortable so he is he set a boundary <laughs> he said do not eat spaghetti around me i know which it's is like, like weird so but weird. it's it's hard to answer i don't know i don't i don't think that he's the asshole for leaving yeah i, I don't know but I-, I don't know what the right answer is I think it's just like funny. Yeah, it's, cause it's like a, not dumb, but it's like a dumb problem to it have in a weird be way. more dumb. Yeah. Like I can just picture this man, like her being like, actually I'm gonna get the spaghetti and then him just like- Yeah, like imagine being the waiter. Putting his napkin on the table and like going to listen to like his fucking podcast <laughs> and just being like, this is fine. Yeah, I don't know. It's very weird. And I'm sure like, it's valid that he feels that way. I'm sure maybe he just like got up to here with it, you mm-hmm. know, like I've dealt with it so many times and she said yeah. she wouldn't do it. So like, I understand the frustration, but it's like from an outsider's perspective, it's kind of funny. It's that's like, so that's fun. your like, big problem. Is I eating know. I, it's just like, I couldn't. I, Cause it's I, not like she's rude to the waiter. It's like, no, it's something that she's, she's just eating. Yeah. Which is like, I understand if you're like uncomfortable with somebody being loud around you. But I don't know how you would be with that person. If Just go to fucking Olive Garden. Yeah, no one will Stop care. Stop going to your local Italian spot. Or like do- Can't make a reservation. Just though. get fucking takeout. Yeah. Sirens. Oh my God. I was like, I thought they were wolves. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. Uh, yeah, I just feel like there's like much easier compromises to do than being like you're not allowed to eat pasta. Yeah, or spaghetti. Like if you're if you want spaghetti, maybe we should order it out. Yeah, like, but you don't even have to say that. Like, just be like, what? Can we just get takeout tonight? Every time. <laughs> yeah, but like, go somewhere else then. Like, how often are how often do you go out to get Italian? I mean, like hardly e- ever. Yeah, like e- every day. No, like they're probably going like once every few weeks. Yeah, I don't. Know, I feel like some people get it a lot, maybe, but. Then that's, I don't know. I just feel like there's other ways that we could um, compromise with her rather than being like, you're not allowed to eat spaghetti. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of outrageous. Just be like, okay, well, can we get takeout then? Yeah. (laughs) Because you're embarrassing as fuck. What a funny problem. I was thinking of something and then I forgot. The worst. (laughs) I don't remember. Was it, do you know when you were thinking of it? Um, no. Olive Garden. Yeah, I don't know. Mm, I don't sucks. know. I just think they're weird. Yeah. I don't yeah. think he's an asshole. I don't think she's an asshole either. Uh, yeah, but I'd be so fucking embarrassed if he just left me at the table, like, while we were ordering. That's true. Because I decided I wanted to eat spaghetti. And, like, because maybe and to her, like, she wasn't, like, going back on her word. Maybe she was just like, oh, I just changed my mind. I didn't think it was, But like, it's also, like, just a him problem. Yeah. Like, this isn't, like, an action. Like, it's not like she's doing something wrong. Yeah. Like, it's just the way she eats. So for him to then, like, I don't know. It's just so fucking weird. But it's, like, if I was with someone and they were, like, you eat very, like, she seems to know. Cause she's, like, well, this is just how I eat. She said that, right? Yeah, she's, like, oh, I don't know. Like, it's how I eat. Oh. I don't know. Like she it probably just isn't self-aware. Like she probably yeah. doesn't realize. Because I feel like if someone said that to me, I'd be like so hyper aware of it that I would do all everything I could not to be loud. Maybe she thinks she is. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> oh, interesting. Also like can confirm that in other cultures, like you better fucking slurp. Yeah, like if you, a compliment. When you were in Japan, like if you weren't slurping your ramen, <laughs> canceled. Yeah, they're like, do you not like it? True cancellation. <laughs> yeah, so interesting. Slurp the fuck away. <laughs> I don't know if that's like the same in Italian, but. <laughs> oh my God. I don't know. What? I'll tell you after. Oh, tea. Um, but yeah, that is. It is a lot. It's hour and a half podcast. Wow. It didn't feel like that long. My ears are hot. Yeah. Well, there's probably some, some stuff we can cut out because of. um. Took the battery. Yeah. 
But uh, I want to give us, we want to give a special shout out <laughs> to our Whitey tier members. We have a Patreon, which you can become a member of. We have three tiers. Whitey is the top tier and they top get little tier. shout outs on our podcast. So thank you to Shelby Steele, Siobhan, Sky, and Skylar Lindberry. Just absolute legend queens. We love you guys <laughs> so much. Thank you for being a part of our community. We post bonus content over there. We have a Discord um, that you guys can all come and chat with us in. And it's really cute and fun and just like honestly like a safe space from the internet <laughs> yeah a little hiding spot yeah and then the audio version of the podcast comes out on wednesdays anywhere you listen to podcasts and the video version comes out on thursdays on our youtube channel so make sure you're subscribed everywhere and uh we'll see you guys next week bye bye